I thought today I'd put together a short video for anybody that uses the BMW Motrad app for their navigation and uh, hopefully show you how to successfully import a GPX file um, into the phone and to get it to work uh, well uh, in the app because there are some uh, subtle things that you need to do to make that happen and I'm hopefully going to show you how to do that today. So um, first of all let's just um, kind of get onto the Mac and show you the uh, app of choice for me for uh, creating my routes in the first place and I use my route app um, which you can get with a, uh, I think, a subscription or you can buy a lifetime license. It's not overly expensive, but for me is by far and away the best routing app uh, out there. Um, I'm not going to show you how to create a, a route on, uh, my, on the MyRoute app because that will be a much longer video. So I'm just going to uh, show you how I get routes out of um, my route and into the phone. So as you can see on the screen here, if I go to my routes page, it should actually list uh, some of the routes which I've already loaded uh, or created. Um, let's go for something kind of medium distance. We'll go for Cheddar Gorge. So I'm going to select the Cheddar Gorge loop. And if you see there, that's a, a neatly kind of tracked loop from where I live here in Pusey in Wiltshire. Uh, over to <coughs> Cheddar Gorge, stop for a cup of tea, and then back again on a slightly different route. Um, and as you can see, important to note, there's 10, including home, 11 waypoints in there. Um, so to get the route out of my route, fairly straightforward, just uh, save as. I typically pick this GPX 1.1 uh, and that'll drop it straight into downloads. And then you can move it from downloads to any particular folder on your Mac, which you can easily then find from your iPhone. OK, so we'll now move across to the iPhone, which I've uh, got in my hand here and uh, I've set the screen to record. So I'll take you through the steps you need within the BMW Motrad app to make that exported GPX file to work correctly within the app. So the first thing to do, obviously, click on the, uh, the Make Life a Ride, which is the BMW Motrad app. Once that's opened up, go to the third icon on the bottom across to uh, rides. That's recorded rides and uh, which at the default will come up as recorded rides, which is all the kind of previous rides that uh, that you've done while they're while you've been using the app. Um, but you want to click on the right hand side, just second row down from the top on the right hand side. This is the route import screen. You can see a couple of routes that I've imported previously. But what we want to do is click on the blue um, uh, box here, root import, and then it'll take you into a browser and you need to navigate to the folder that you saved the GPX file on on your Mac. I've set up something called bike GPX files conveniently as you can see here. And there's the Cheddar Gorge loop um, which I've just highlighted there and then I want to click open. So what this will do it will actually give you the, uh, the option to import both a track and a route. Um, the difference being that the track is far more detailed and you can see it actually says 300, uh, sorry, 3,855 support points. Uh, bear in mind those support points are what we will be converting to waypoints to try and mimic the original map that we exported. So we really don't want to import the track. Um, the app just couldn't, I don't think the app can cope with more than 50 um, waypoints. So deselect the, uh, the track and just import the route. And that will bring the routes there you can see at the top there December 24 Cheddar Gorge Loop. Um, click on it and you'll see straight away that it doesn't look anything like a route. It's just more or less straight lines between um, you know one point and another, which is uh, obviously completely unusable. So the first thing uh, that I would do is in the top right hand side, you've got those three little dots. Click on that. And one of the options down there is convert convert to a list of waypoints. So if I click on convert to a list of waypoints, you can see that uh, at least for now it's put the waypoints in, although the lines are still looking pretty straight. The next thing to do in the bottom um, here, you've got the two blue boxes go on the right. Ignore that for the moment. On the left, you've got this funny little sort of uh, squarish box. Click on that. And what that'll do 
is it'll uh, calculate uh, a route that, as you can see now, you can see that it's actually sticking to the roads and looks much more like the route that we exported in the first place, along with all of the waypoints. And actually, you can check down below in this box down below, you can click on more waypoints here, and it lists all the waypoints that are in there that you can either delete or move around if you want to. The other thing you can do, you can click on options, of course, here, and you can change the, uh, uh, the, the route type from fast, which is the default to short or efficient or, you know, extra windy, whatever you want to do, avoid motorways, etc. We're not going to do that for now. So we have that um, and we're pretty much ready to go. So the next thing to do is you can see here that you've got this little um, blue uh, save button. I'm going to click on that and now I've got the opportunity to save this. Um, so you can name it whatever you like. What I tend to do is pretty much keep the same name, but get rid of the waypoints um, stuff. So there you are, Cheddar Gorge Loop, click OK, and that is now saved. So if I come back to, by clicking on the, um, the My Routes uh, button a couple of times, come back to that screen, you can see that at the top there, we have the Cheddar Gorge Loop uh, nicely saved uh, with all of the waypoints. What you'll also notice, though, um, is that there's two other Cheddar Gorge routes on there. The one at the bottom is the first one that we imported, the straight line thing with no waypoints whatsoever. The next one is uh, after I uh, converted it to waypoints, it saved another version of it with the waypoints. And then the third one is the final version with uh, the, the route correctly tracked and with the waypoints. So what we want to do now is delete the other two so there's no confusion there. So the best way to do that is just click on it, three little buttons at the top, click on delete and then confirm. And then the next one up, click on that, three little buttons at the, at the top, delete, confirm. So now you can see we've just got the final route uh, there saved on the phone and ready to go. And when you're ready to go, just click on the route and quite simply press go. It's probably going to tell me I need to connect to the motorcycle now, but uh, there you are. So we're ready to go. It's saying connect to the motorcycle, but we're in navigation mode now. So if I was connected to the bike, then off we would go and we'd get full um, navigation um, functions. And that pretty much is it. Um, hopefully that was a, a kind of a fairly fast flying uh, tour of, of how to get this thing to work. There may be other ways of doing it. There may be ways that other people have discovered that makes it uh, quicker and easier to use. But I've tried pretty much everything uh, for quite some period of time. And this one works flawlessly for me. So uh, I can certainly recommend it. But very, very happy to listen to any suggestions that anybody else has uh, where we may be able to cut that down slightly in terms of time. All right, I'll leave it there for now. Um, as always, if uh, I've been of any use at all, please like the video and subscribe um, if you can. That's great. Thank you very much. Bye for now.